Hi kids, I am going to do a little uh, instructional video about diffraction gratings um, just to make sure that it totally makes sense. Diffraction gratings are actually super easy to understand as long as you understand double slit interference really well. Okay, So what is a diffraction grating? A diffraction grating is essentially where you have, it's like you have something that's like this. So from here to here would be my diffraction grating. So I have a whole bunch of teeny tiny little slits in there. And I don't know why I drew it at an angle. So that means I have to draw my wall at an angle so that it's the same thing. Okay, there you go. Um, let me go like this. Sorry, diffraction grating is kind of angled down. That's all right. But then if I have my light coming in, okay, and hitting this wall, so my light's coming in like this, well, the diffraction grating interference pattern, if you remember, the double slit interference pattern, the central maximum, the zeroth maximum is is really bright, and then the next one's not quite as bright, and then the next one's not quite as bright, and then it starts getting weaker as you go out, and then the single slit's even more. You get a kind of a bright blob, and then the other blobs on the other side are, are getting much dimmer, much quicker. Um, well, with the diffraction grating, the central ones where the light is really actually hitting are super duper bright and it should make sense why they're super duper bright. So let me show this to you. So let's say I have this point source and this point source. Okay. These two point sources. Well, if the light is hitting it right there would be a zeroth maximum. Does everybody see it? Okay. Well, if I have this one and this one right There would be a zeroth maximum. And then, well, you know, this one right here would be, this would, if I have these two, this would be the zeroth maximum. That would be the first maximum. But then for this one, that's the zeroth maximum. And this would be the first maximum. But you're going to get all these really bright spots here, here, and here. And then you can solve it. But it's going to be the same thing where your equation is still going to be d sine theta equals m lambda. The only thing you have to remember, d is really this distance, okay, from slit to slit. So a lot of times with diffraction grading, they're going to ask you to solve for how many slits per centimeter do you have. So if you get d and you change that to centimeters, you know, so you get some number centimeters. And then if the question is asking how many slits per centimeter, well, then you take one centimeter and you divide by D and you get your answer. Okay. Um, but otherwise, it's the same exact thing as far as doing what you're doing. Okay. Hope that makes sense. Bye, kids.